What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civilization 6 as Egypt on this TSL world map. It's getting getting pretty scary, I think we are going to be in for a tough one. I don't think this, this is definitely going to be as easy as when we played as England or the Khmer. For a number of reasons, the difficulty is probably the first reason, and then the domination only victory is definitely going to put us in a lot of uh, scary positions, particularly in Africa where there's only four other civs, they're all probably going to be huge, so we need to... Need to step our game up a little bit. We've already missed out on some wonders that I wanted. I wasn't used to that, you know. We just had a Rome series where I think I had more than everyone else combined by the end. So there's some scary times ahead. We've got to got to bear that in mind. We've got to try and play well and win this game somehow. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring the scout back. I think at this point. Um, what else? Like these guys' borders, the Nubians, just looks huge. That's get so scary. So I'm probably gonna try and get North Africa. That'll be our territory. The north coast, I mean, Jesus. The Mali's already heading over there, so yeah, we need to speed up. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Right, where are we at to with technology? We've done these two, so I'll quickly grab archery. Um, and I wanted to just, as recommended, purchase the second tile on this island. You know, we can put a city on there and go hide in there if we need to, if it's all gone horribly wrong. We'll see, I'm already terrified Greece is like going to invade us, so let's hope that doesn't happen. They look very strong. Quite a lot going on. It's not looking fun. <laughs> looking very challenging, which is fine. Like a challenge, you learn more. Probably. Something like that. I think we will learn more. Let's see. Hopefully there is not just a huge gap there. I, feel, I didn't put Sifia in. I hope this map... I've not got it, got it horribly wrong. And this map isn't tiny. But there we go. Four era score for building a Sphinx. I'll take that. That's a win. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? <laughs> Why is, I thought it was going to take me to the production. Um, there's plenty of options here. Don't, pyramids would be pretty cool as Egypt. And normally I'd be like, yeah, we got to go for the pyramids because we're playing as Egypt and they're pretty good. But just, I don't see us getting them. Free builder. All builders can build one extra improvement. See, that is so good in the long run. But 15 turns is like, mm-hmm. We do get a bonus towards Wonders, but will someone else have started it? We can't really afford to miss out on another one. Hmm. Um, what do we do? I mean, this city, uh, for lack of a better word, is pretty useless at the moment. It's not actually growing, and it's at one population, which is alarming. And it's not, I don't know how, there's more than enough food. So, um, oh, that's a good sign. The other options are water mill would give some production and food. See, there's more units as well we could probably do with. I'm going to just get the water mill done as early as possible. Your cities overflow with filth. Thanks. I, I don't even know what what element of sieve measures fif, filth. <laughs> what am I supposed to change? Like, it's not there's not like a filth category at the top for how how filthy our cities are. But there we go. Whatever. We'll just ignore it. You better not be about to invade me. You know, that would not be a good start. Right, so production towards melee and anti-cab units. We're not actually building one right now, so I'm going to swap that out. Put gold maintenance reduce so I can try and buy something. And then what can we do here? Two gold from all trade. We only have one. Um, no, we don't want this one. We're not building any builders or settlers. We're not purchasing tiles. We just bought one. Damn it. <laughs> Plus one product, 15% towards wonders. Could go back and switch to the pyramids. What was it 15 turns? So 15% is two turns. No, I don't think that's enough to win it. I'll just stick with the extra gold. I don't think two turns. Okay, there's Mongolia. So that's either good news or terrifying that he's that close. One or the other. I'm gonna come down here. They need they need some stuff being built, or they're gonna s just struggle forever. All right, I'm gonna try and rush political philosophy. You can't meet free city-states because they're turned off, so there's no point waiting for the boost. And obviously I want to get that government type as quick as possible. Production towards districts, yes, I'll take that. That's really useful early on. Thank you. Although we're not building one right now, that will be hopefully useful. Four gold and open borders for my horses. I'm going to say no, just because we probably shouldn't trade with you. Oh, you got a religion up. That's, that's cool. I will be following that then. So, probably a good job I didn't pursue one. 
That is if the Sumerians don't take them out. Although Arabia's fought back. They're back into the yellow for garrison, so they might be safe. Size. Oh, wow. Istanbul. <laughs> I think that must be the uh, holy city is already falling. That's not a good sign. Okay, let's try and avoid you. Hello, India. There we go. So another capital. That's quite far away from Persia, so he's going to be quite strong. I assume. Right, let's get irrigation. We need to kill three barbarians. That might not happen. Improve sea resources. I can try and get a builder to uh, do that. I've got one heading south. I can't afford another one at the moment. I'm afraid. We're now gaining one faith all the time. I don't know how. Because I don't have have God King. We do have the Pantheon. I don't it's Oh yeah, it is mine. Yeah, I got one, but I'm not pursuing it, aren't I? Just trying to remember all this stuff. It's been three days. Yeah, all the religions are gone anyway. Oh no, there's one left. Six out of seven. But we did get a Pantheon, two faith. <laughs> not that we have any of the stuff required to give us that faith, but whatever. Um, damn it, this <laughs> scout. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it. Probably could just get rid of it. I really want to salt mine, but at the same time, we probably do just need a farm here. They're struggling to even get beyond zero at one population. So we'll put in a wheat farm. And that, that there we go, we got some growth. I don't know why it wasn't grown before, because it's not like building a farm added one, not 4.4, .4, but never mind. Many things we will cease to understand. I'm definitely going to try and get some allies this game. Normally I'm a bit fly solo, all that kind of stuff. I think this game we are going to need a few good, strong allies. There is so much space there. That's alarming. But Russia's not settled any of it, so that's good, as I guess. The Ottomans will be up here. Persia, Poland might come in. So at least it will not be a runaway for one of them, he says. So who likes us? India like us? Congo. Okay, that's already... Friendship? Accepted? There we go. That's a good start. Who else would be good? The Ottomans. They might be a good choice. Or Gilgamesh, he sounds like a great choice to be honest. Let's go with him. <laughs> there we go. Can't have alliances yet, but that would do. She doesn't like us. Arabia does too, but they're fighting Samarius. So let's avoid them. Um, the Ottomans would be okay. I would have liked Greece, but they're obviously not too, too keen on it. So that's fine. All good. All as well. And there we go. You're a good ally. See, didn't even have to do anything. Free compliments. That's, that's what's going to fuel this victory. <laughs> I can feel it. Free compliments. By the way, I don't think we'll win this game. Like, well, we won't win a domination victory, that's for sure. But however we're going to rank, you'd pick a winner. I probably won't be winning. It's going to be more about the more about the journey <laughs> that we have, if we even make it to the end. Uh, right. So we still haven't done that. Um, I'm just going to do it anyway to get get it done with. I don't. There's not that many barbarians near us. I don't really want to risk my units, so we'll leave that. Well, speaking of barbarians, <laughs> one just turns up about as far away from my units as possible. Appreciate that. There is an encampment over there, I guess I should go deal with it. But like I said, I don't want to leave myself open to Nubia. I think they do probably want to kill me. So let's let's be, br be, be, be brave, be patient. Okay, this is China, so I think that means, yeah, this map's so fairly okay size it's fine right uh, units I would like some more another archer slinger that is some great movement okay at least this guy can move towards and shoot them I could have upgraded them but oh, they can move really quick over the flat land it's good hopefully we stop them getting away that'd be useful oh, they have so much stuff how <laughs> how are they doing this it isn't fair if I could get more of this gold mines and like some of these tiles here around the edges, that would give us some good production. So hopefully we reach out and grab those as soon as possible. That'd be nice. But yeah, I don't get how they're all doing so good. Very annoying. Uh, go in that lake oasis. We'll try and stop them getting away. Right, try and sort of cut us off here. Oh, great. Oh, there's, there's some much more built pyramids, so I made a good choice. If China's there, so I think the capital must be about here. Little blue thing. Little bug. Obviously Japan and that is out there as well. Korea. The Khmer, also out that way. I think that's it for East Asia. And then Australia is in. 
There's no Indonesia. I'm just trying to remember exactly who's in. Oh, they didn't run away. Appreciate that. Come on. There we go. That means they won't be coming back. Sadly, we didn't kill three of them. Oh, no, we have boosted it now. Maybe that was the third. Not that I remember. Oh, my God. Go away. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm just gonna, just gonna gamble that this guy's not gonna die. I mean, if he does, it's not a disaster. There's not that much left that we're actually gonna be able to get to based on the borders that civs have. We're not gonna be able to go over the sea or anything, so it's not. We're just, you know, not meeting Korea and the Khmer isn't the end of the world for now. Probably do it by boat at some. Actually, probably never by boat because there's no canal yet. I don't actually have any boats? Maybe I should try and build one. Okay, we have a bit of money. I will purchase something. I think already struggling for amenities. I'm going to go with the builder to try and save the day. Um, I'm going to upgrade a pr promotion, tent, strength. I also want to upgrade you to an archer. Heal. There we go. That was a good job. We, we, oh, we snuck by. We did it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> nice. Do 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 do. Poland. Same stuff. <laughs> I think we're, we're gonna have to rely on money again. I need to get as many traders as I can. Commercial hubs, harbors, once that's available, plop one of them down. Just trade across the Mediterranean, bring in a ton of money. That's gonna be where it's good for us. Right, so here we go, we can pick one. Two economic, I'm very tempted to actually go two economic. I'd never normally do that, but just ignore. I think we'll go for the balance of oligarchy as I normally do. Two era score, so we can keep these two. Um, do I want to switch these? We're not building builders, we're not building settlers, we're not purchasing tiles. That's not just a not much production, is it? Units, production. Am I building unit naval units? I'm tempted to try that. Build a couple of boats to protect us. I'm kind of nervous. Two influence points per turn towards earning city-state envoys. I can neither of these matter. Um, they, you, you got a diplomatic one no matter what, so it doesn't matter, but I'll just... First envoy counts, uh, just two influence points, it doesn't matter. There's no city-states. Two great scientist points, please. There we go. Now right, we've got a new archer, so that's at least a little bit more protection. Oh, I did need to use the builder in the sea. Although, oh, there's no fish. I don't know if that counts. It said to protect a resource. I don't know if fish count. But we did finally kill three barbarians. I'm so I thought oh we completed it. I don't know what was going on, but it's done now. Machinery boosted too. Civic builder wonder research construction. Well, neither of those are happening, so we'll go for an entertainment complex. Okay, we could build a builder in three turns. Government plaza is always a good one. All these tiles are really good. That is an issue. We have to pick which ones to put districts on. Um, I'm gonna actually ignore the government plaza for a little bit. What does it do? Place in your empire, provides 8 loyalty, increase of adjacency bonuses by adjacent districts. I want to put that somewhere else. I'd probably put it in another city, because unless we have... I'm tempted to have one sort of here in the east, on this coast. Not a big one, but like a, just a little one, if that's possible. Just to give us access to the sea, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for the library... Galley in two turns. Okay, we did say I'm going to build a couple of boats while it's... Just, <laughs> I'm gonna just save money, okay? I'm just gonna uh, not even bother. It's not gonna make it back. I accept it now. I'm gonna be the bigger man in the situation. Just give up. Let Nubia come through. Right, let's rush for currency. Well, not rush, but get currency. That'd be good. Right, you come over there. These archers can come towards the south and protect us from Nubia. We don't need as many units protecting from um, Phoenicia. Oh, if there's mountains all the way to the top, you got to be kidding me. Um, we don't need to protect so much from Phoenicia. They're probably not going to be able to cross over this little one province bridge. They're spreading their religion. That's fine. Hopefully you pick some good bonuses and I'll use them. I'll have a look at what they are, actually. So I'll probably be following that one. Judaism. Relics have triple yield. Oh, they picked the faith buildings. Damn it. Okay, I was hoping for something that wasn't focused on religion, but fair enough. That's fine. Um, Alright, build... Uh, okay, we probably do need that salt mine. Archer down here to protect us. Yep, you come too. And then you can sort of stay out here to protect from any barbarians that show up. And I will try and get a settler 
soon to come. Probably settle around here. And maybe one more over here, although that's getting a bit close to Mali. But yeah, that'll probably be the goal. Try and settle over there. He needs orders. Yeah, you just stay there. There is mountains all the way. Seriously? <laughs> How's this happened? We did meet Korea, though. I didn't notice, but we met them. Cavalry is an embarrassment. I don't even have horses. Like, okay, I do have horses. Um, should probably get some horse units just to keep them quiet. Oh, Thebes is finally growing. That is that is something, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, they have three cities now. This is getting very scary. Very scary. Uh, where's the most gold now? Thirteen plus one science. I'll definitely take that trade route to Uruk. Our first one, I think, went to here or somewhere. No, oh, no, it already went to Uruk. So we'll go again. We've already got the road flying through. You can't really see it because I'm on low graphics, but <laughs> it is there. Right, libraries available. I need an amenity. I, you know, we've already got gold, so I don't actually have any. Unless I get this silver, I need to get. A, okay, I'm going to build a settler. We need a settler. That's what we need, no matter what. I'm going to send this galley to go and explore a bit of the coast, a bit of Europe, see what you can find. Archer down here to protect us. Builder, come here and build a mine. We are out of food again, which is alarming. But that will be it for this episode. This looks like it's going to be a fun one. A very challenging one. Maybe very frustrating. Our borders seem so tiny compared to everyone else. I'm very nervous. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.